It is so early right now, but the grind never stops. Hello everyone, in the next five minutes of your life, I'm going to show you my exact schedule the day before midterm week starts at Harvard. I just changed into my running clothes, but I'm gonna fill up my water bottle and then we're gonna start. Just finished my five mile run. Sun has just risen. Look how beautiful that is. I'm just headed back to my dorm. We're gonna change and then head to the gym to lift. Okay, I just left my room and we are currently heading to the gym. If you wanna be extraordinary, you can't follow average habits. So that's why you kind of want to deviate from the norm. And for me, that starts with instilling a lot of physical discipline. And while I did used to follow a pretty routine workout schedule, I'm starting to both lift and run now to really challenge myself physically and translate that into mental and academic discipline. Oh shit, here we go again. I am currently at Annenberg Dining Hall. And this dining hall inspired J.K. Rowling's design of Hogwarts and Harry Potter, which I think is super cool. I have a lot to do today, but breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So make sure to eat your breakfast in the morning. So the first thing that I'm going to do is review my cancer biology lecture since we had a bunch of content the past few days. I always review my lectures because this technique is called spaced repetition, which is basically where you want to review older material as you learn new material. So you can kind of have a very cumulative understanding of the content you're learning in your classes. The employee just gave me a free coffee. So now I have two coffees to try. This is the Nola, and then this one is the cold brew. I'm now headed to Widener Library because it got a little bit too loud in the cafe, and I'm gonna start studying for my biochemistry exam tomorrow. So I just need a little bit of a quieter place to study since I'm grinding out a bunch of practice questions. To study effectively, I always prioritize repetitive recall over a repetitive exposure. Reading notes the day before an exam is a passive technique, but doing practice questions actively stimulates your brain and reinforces core concepts. I finished studying for chemistry, so just grabbed one. I am currently in Smithson. Just finished lunch, and now I'm going to be working on my business. For those of you who have been subscribed to me for a while, you know that I run a college admissions counseling business, and part of it is my private community where I hold group meetings three times a week. They're live Q&A sessions, and I like to do workshops for them, so I'm going to be creating a workshop, uh, making the slides and kind of planning it so I can provide a lot of value to the members that are part of the community. I just made an entire presentation on all the steps to get into Harvard. It's a really comprehensive presentation, but I'm excited to share it with all of my students. So I have a take-home exam that I have to do for my statistics class. I'm headed to Capital One Cafe. I just needed a change of scenery, and the reason why I always move places whenever I'm doing different subjects is it's almost like a tailored version of the method of loci, which is where you associate certain information with a particular place. So for me, Capital One Cafe is my statistics class. So then whenever I am taking an exam for that class or I'm doing something else in that class, I think of Capital One Cafe and it just helps me recall the information a little bit better. I'm back at my dorm now, but I'm about to change, head to dinner, and then go to dance practice. I'm part of of Harvard's Asian American dance troupe. I'm doing a traditional Vietnamese fan dance this semester, which I'm really excited about because I've been trying to reconnect more with my Vietnamese heritage. I was part of this organization last year, but I mainly did hip hop style dances. So this is definitely something new for me. I just 
got back from dance. I'm super sweaty, so I'm just gonna shower and then go to sleep. Bye guys, good night.